President Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un shaking hands and sitting down together in Singapore. A Nichols College assistant professor of political science and international affairs is surprised it happened. The two leaders signing an agreement today with North Korea promising to get rid of its nuclear weapons and in a surprise move the U.S. saying it will end military exercises in South Korea. Dr. Erica Cornelius Smith says while there hasn't been any further talk of inspections in North Korea, she says talking with Kim Jong-un is a big step. It did seem sudden, um, it did seem unexpected, but I think both leaders had a lot personally and politically to gain from opening up these talks. I think that in some ways it might also mark a shift in international relations. I think especially when you pair it with the G7 summit. So we have a lot of historic Atlantic alliances with the European Union, with Canada, um, and relations there are not going as well as what happened in Singapore. So this could mark a significant departure from presidential diplomacy over the last century. 70 years. Cornelia Smith says during these international discussions, she would like to see more presence from China, South Korea and Japan so it can be a multilateral denuclearization agreement.